sa kasalukuyan. What's up guys? Welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about... Look at how wide I am right now. Me. So to start things off guys, kung nagtataka kayo, ang gamit ko ngayon is yung, you know, yung common lente ko na ginagamit ko sa vlog ko is yung Sigma 16mm f1.4 and sobrang blurred pa rin ang background sa nakikita nyo. But today, meron akong 10mm f1.4. It's super wide AF and it's macro. See? Oh my goodness. So no more sugar coating guys, today ipapakita ko sa inyo ang wide angle lens converter. So what this basically does is that it converts your lens to a 0.43 magnification. So pinapawiden niya pa yung lente na meron ka. So let's say you have an 18 to 135, 18 to 105, 16mm, 17 to 50, lahat ng nasa lineage ng, you know, ng simula, let's say 15 to 45. Everybody has a kit lens. That's what I want to say. And what comes after that kit lens is that you want to vlog. Pero sa tuwing tinatapat mo yung, yung wide lens na yun, it's either nagre-reklamo ka dahil hindi siya wide enough, nagtataka ka, bakit hindi kasing wide ng mga vlogs nila Casey Neistat, nila Peter, ng Dog Squad, nila Nuke, nila John. It's because 15mm on an APS-C is not wide enough, especially 16mm. Let me show you. I'm removing the converter right now. See? Oops. See? That is like super tight. This is 16 mil. But buying the wide lens converter, which is this, I have it in my hands right now, turns that 16 mil into a 10 mil. Combine mo fact na F1.4 to, so it's a game changer. Pwede ba to sa Canon? Pwede ba to sa Sony, sa Nikon, sa Fujifilm? Yes. As long as to matanggap ng UV filter, ng ND filter, ng as long as may filter thread yung lens mo, tinatanggap niya. But just keep in mind, it multiplies your lens to a 0.43 magnification. So let's just say technically ang 16mm sa APS-C ay hindi talaga 16mm. It's actually 24. Base sa full frame, meron siyang 1.6 crop. I don't know if you're gonna be, you know, staying with me on this explanation, but I hope you do. If I have 17 to 50, 18 to 135, 105, um, yung 18, and but let's say 18 mm, times mo siya sa 1.6. Dun mama ko yung tamang focal length. Tapos it times mo na ngayon siya sa 0 0.43. But going further than that, kung ikaw compute mo yung lens mo, let's say meron kang 18 to 1. 05 or let's say Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 at kakabitan mo ng wide angle lens converter magiging 12 mm f1.8 yung lens mo. One of the few regrets I have is not having this wide angle lens converter. Dahil kung alam ko pa to dati pa nung nakakaano nako, hindi na siguro ako nag-invest sa mga wide angle lenses. Plus dito sa Sony camera ko na nilagyan ko ng wide angle lens converter. Yep. I can zoom and out. So hindi naman sa sinasabi kong hindi worth it na bumili ng mga wide lenses. Sinasabi ko lang din na kung, kung nandun ka sa budget type level na ayaw mo pang gumasos ng 10k, especially pag naka Sony ka yung wide lens is almost 34,000 pesos. Ang masasabi ko lang is mas maliligtas ng buhay mo itong wide angle lens converter na to dahil look at the bokeh right now. See? 1.4. My god, tapos sa wide pa. So Technically, wala na ang problema kahit di na bumili ng lens. Ito, wide lens plus f1.4. I have nothing else to ask for. Going further, technically, is it good for photo? Yes. Kuya Marco Mars, maganda ba sa photo, sa video? Yes. May chromatic aberration ba? Wala. Vignetting, wala rin. Unless na lang syempre, ilagay mo siya sa wide lens. Like, let's say it's a 10 to 18, 10 to 24 na merong 67mm filter thread. Syempre, magkakaroon ng vignetting at fisheye effect. And also, to be honest with you guys, the only beef I have with this converter is that hindi ko yun expect na 67mm thread siya. Pero pagdating sa ibabaw, hindi na siya 67mm thread. So, hindi ko na makakabit yung ND filter ko. 
dito. So I think I may have to consider buying another or maybe an 82 mil variable ND filter for this. What else do you have to know? For video, it's perfectly good, especially yung macro, napaganda ng macro. And syempre hindi mo lang may expect na super macro dahil nga sa distance yan, 16mm. And masuzoom in mo lang siya up to 18mm sa digital zoom. So let's also see na may bago ang camera, 200D, 70D, 70D. Remember, if I'm gonna recommend a brand new camera and if you're starting out, go for Canon. It's much easier to learn. But going further as well, you can get a lens 18 to 105, 135, 18 to 200. I will say that is amazing. Tapos kaabita mo ng wide lens converter. You have a wide lens, you have a telephoto lens. Hindi mo nakailan gumasus na extra 10,000 plus. All right, so just to give you guys a little bit of info, what comes in the packaging is this basic pouch. Opening it up, and yep, you get this bad boy right here the wide lens converter you multiply it to 0.43x build quality wise i will say it's you know purely metal it's kind of heavy but yeah it does make my sigma 16 mil look like a g master lens on a personal side note um way before then right before i switched to sony when i was way back in you know the canon lineage even though to be honest with you guys my heart is canon i must say sana nalaman ko tong wide angle lens converter na to dati pa dahil if i would have a full set or a new set to start over again i would like get an 80d 70 70d or 90d and then i'll buy a 17 to 50 f 2.8 or 17 to 70 sigma na macro and then i'd get this wide angle lens converter I technically have it all. Meron na akong telephoto, may macro, meron na rin akong pang portrait, pang group. It's technically everything you need, you know. It saves you a lot of money. Plus, also, a few word of advice. If you're gonna be really buying a new camera, what you have to consider is the lens selection, the lens lineup, what you're gonna use it for, and if you're gonna basically vlog. Abangan nyo guys sa mga darating nating content at syempre, kung out of this world ka, wag mo na rin kakalimutan na mag-like, comment, share, and subscribe. Mag-subscribe na rin kayo sa nagwawalis sa labas at sa nagtutuktok sa labas dahil kanina ako pa pinipilit mag-record ng maayos. Hindi ako makapag-record ng maayos. But I'm vlogging on a 10mm f1.4. Tamang flex lang. But kidding aside, it's really a great deal for you guys. If you're wanting to buy it, I'll link it down below. Um, possibly, may darating pa ako na isang version pa nito at baka ibenta ko na lang yun dahil ang tagal-tagal bago dumating galing pa yung China. And ito, here in the Philippines. You can buy it here in the Philippines via Lazada. Don't forget to subscribe and of course, wag mag mag-go one kay na tayo 150 subscribers na lang. Yeah, I'm looking forward sa mananalo ng lot ng merch ni Sami at ng personal lot ko at last na yung mic. Although may napili na ako na panalo sa mic. Yeah. See you guys in the next vlog.